So equations and identities are just asking you to manipulate various equations and understand is this even solvable and how would we uh, use the different math processes are the numbers or outcomes affected. So the first question had asked you to create an equation where there's only one possible solution that makes that equation true. So in this case, x plus 3 equals 6. There's only one value that x can be to make that true. On the, on the next one, it said write an equation that had infinite solutions. The only way you can have infinite solutions if both sides of the equal sign are the exact same value. And the only way we could do that is create a factored and a distributed form of the same value. So 4x plus 2, when I simplify 4 times x, I get 4x. 4 times 2, it's 8. So no matter what I have, I plug in for eight or for x here and over here, it's going to make both sides balance out. Then for this one, uh, we needed to create an equation where there's no solution to it. The best way to do that is if you cancel out your x's, the numbers that are left behind never equal each other. So if you make the x's the same, so that no matter what happens to them, they're going to change the same amount. If you just throw those out, 3 is never going to equal negative 7 on its own. So that is an unsolvable solution. There's no answer to it. Then if we looked at the other examples that they gave us in question number two, is there any solution to make x minus 12 and x plus 30 be the same? Well, that harkens back up to question C, where when you take x out of the scenario, do the two numbers that are left behind balance out? Well, because they're both the same x value, you just toss them out because they don't, they don't change anything. Uh, negative 12 can never equal 30, so this is a never. For this one, this is always, because when you distribute the 2 times x, you get 2x. 2 times 6 is 12. It's the same expression on both sides of the equal sign. Here, three. when you distribute the 3, 3 times x is 3x, but 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, not negative 2. So when this is simplified, I have a 3x on both sides, but I have a 6x, or a negative 6 and a negative 2, which are never going to be equal. So there is no solution to this equation. The next one is a little tricky. There is one way that this can be correct, and that is only if the x gets taken out. Because 0 plus 4 is 4, so 4 squared. 0 times 0 is 0, 4 squared is the same as 4 squared. So this only works if x is 0, and that's one of the good, one of the numbers to plug in to test out whether there's a solution or not, is including 0 as one of your options. But beyond that, nothing else is going to make this work. Then the last one, x squared plus 4 equals 0. Well, the only way we could get to a 0 is if we have a number that we can't, if we have a negative 4, so that after 4 we get 0. But when it comes to multiplication, whenever you square a number, whether it's positive or negative, guess what? It's positive. So a positive and a positive cannot add up to a 0. So on this case, it is never true. There is no solution.